Hello everyone, welcome to the Albert and Billy Show. I'm Albert. <laughs> and I'm Billy. <laughs> and we have a special guest this week, as you can see. Uh, we have, uh, well, we have Mikey Bledsoe with us, for one. <laughs> uh, he is at the uh, Lucky Star. I'm going to sit and get comfortable in this chair. I like this chair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he is at the Lucky Star, obviously, and, of course, he has an awesome band, and you're going to be seeing that today. But he's owner of the Lucky Star, and uh, we'll be telling you about an event coming up there uh, in the coming months as well. And we... Uh, we filmed at the Lucky Star oh, for yeah. two episodes, two uh, and it's always a beautiful place. And we're going to come back. Uh, we'll film. We're going to film there, leading up to this event, folks. And let's see. We, we can just dive right into that. Really, it's in September, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes. Yeah, September first, second, third, and fourth. That's wow. good. It's too. over the holiday weekend. That's so get good. Get an extra day or two out of That's it. That's good. And of course, you you guys remember Mr. Cameron Fresh Hour. That's right. <laughs> he got it again. <laughs> <laughs> With uh, of course, he's a uh, Cam in the Fresh Buzz still, correct? Correct. And uh, but he's a. Uh, also joined with Mikey Bledsoe here. What do you guys well, call? I am the fresh buzz. You're the evidently, fresh buzz. Evidently. Okay. <laughs> I'm so cool. He is. There we go, Mikey Bledsoe, the fresh buzz. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> well, your event that you're having, which is going to be on Labor Day weekend, I take it, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, that's a good time to have it. So it's the first, second, third, and fourth, folks. And it's the tenth annual Bledsoe Bash. I like that y'all are having it in September. Actually, I think that might be better. We've done it midsummer for well, a long all time. nine years, yeah. and it's just you never know. One year it might be <laughs> it might be eighty three degrees with a high school breeze. The next year it might be one hundred and eight degrees. I know, <laughs> and no wind whatsoever. So, I'm hoping that this will help us out with that situation. Uh, yeah, I think it might. I think it might because uh, the fall. Well, we've got the camping a little and everything. More it'll be great for the campers. It really will be. Yeah, I've been there. Uh, well, I've bartended at a few of their events, and yeah, he's yeah. he's telling the truth on that. It, I've seen it t start storming, and then you know, in less than fifteen minutes, it's sunny and clear up there. You never know. <laughs> we do live in Tennessee. But that is that know. summer <laughs> weather, yeah. So you wouldn't have as much as that. No, I don't, I don't think in September. That is true. But anyway, it's a good event, folks. This is the tenth annual, and uh, it's a ten dollar. Or more donation per person because it's uh, for a, a really good cause. But does it cover all four days? That's yeah. to get in the gate. That's to get in the gate. Get so in I, the gate. Yeah. As many times as you've done. It, correct. Correct. Yeah. But now, if you're going to camp, there is a fee for camping. Yeah. So it, yeah. Actually, you probably get. You can now, save money by camping, how far really. From town is the lucky star. Six miles outside. Six of town. miles. I was wondering that. Okay. okay. Green Valley Road. Road. It's six miles out of town. town. Yeah, I've often called it Bledsoe's best kept secret. It's a beautiful, beautiful place. It really is. If you is. haven't seen it or been there, I highly recommend it. Because uh, it's just one of those original places, you know, that you just can't, you, know, you just don't see every day, you know. So um, I highly recommend going to see the Lucky Star folks if you've not been. And this is a really good event to go support. It's for a good cause because all the proceeds do go to children of Bledsoe County that wouldn't get a gift for Christmas or uh, food for Christmas or anything that they need. This, so this is for a really toys. good cause. Toys. Toys, yeah. Yeah, you get, y'all managed to get a lot of toys for the kids. We have, we, we, unfortunately, because it's just the logistics of it, we've decided not to accept toys at the gate like we used to. Yeah. We just went to a monetary donation and then we can utilize that money where yeah. we need it. Well, that's yeah. That's the best way that's for us good. to do it. Well, that's, that's not a bad idea. Uh, but you'll have live music. Oh, definitely. Obviously, Cam and the Fresh Buzz. We will be. There. <laughs> Obviously, they're going to be there, folks. Uh, and I've seen some of these, especially this one, Don Pooh Bob Miller. Uh, <laughs> I've seen him. He's my favorite. <laughs> uh, the name alone is cool. Uh, MJ Hell. I've not seen that. She's out of Chattanooga. She's a great singer songwriter. Okay. She's got a beautiful voice. I can't wait to see her on the stage. Okay, cool. Yeah, she's yeah. got a really cool vibe. Really? She, she's got a really unique voice. And okay, I like very, that. Very cool. Okay. Very cool. Well, looking forward to seeing her then. Uh, am I saying this right? Lucius Jerome? Correct. Okay. Uh -huh. He's a good friend of ours, a okay. uh, singer-songwriter. Mm -hmm. He's got his own original tunes. And is that his uh, 
Stage that's a stage name. name. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to yeah. Say. <laughs> Jerome Jerome is his is his name, but he okay. wanted he wanted to go by Lucius Jerome for his uh, grandfather. Oh. Yeah. Oh, his really? name his grandfather's name is Lucius. No. Way. So what a name. I thought I thought that was really cool. Well, he, that is that adds a lot to it. Because he usually has a usually has a band, but since he's just going to be by himself, okay. he wanted to. That's his stage name instead of. His gotcha, actual gotcha. band is Jerome's Electric Church Band. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. So I take it he's a good oh, singer, he's a good too. He's okay. Good. He's got a great voice and great stage presence. I, I love him to death. Okay. Well, we've got an impressive lineup. I also have Tucker and the Highland Band and Danger Teague. Teague. Danger Teague. The name's alone. <laughs> <laughs> I got to give them a, a 10 on the name. That should whet people's interest. It should. Right? <laughs> it really should. He's from a down, down around the Atlanta area. Is he? Yes. Okay, that's a cool. And Tucker and the Highland Band. They're out of CrossFit. Okay. They're out of CrossFit. That sounds familiar, but I can't place where I've heard that name. Maybe I've seen them before at an event somewhere. But I'm going to see them again, and you can too, Labor Day weekend, folks. Come the first, second, third, or fourth, or come all those days, whatever you want to do. It's a good event. Good I've cause. Been, it is for a good cause, and uh, I highly, highly recommend going. No joke, folks. You'll enjoy it. And this is uh, something that I didn't know about, really, but uh, it was brought to me today. It's called the American Flyer at the Bledsoe County Fair. <laughs> I like that. Uh, Saturday, July 22nd, I guess you could say, is going to be the first fair event. I guess we can say that. Uh, because the fair looks like it starts a week after the Fairs of the Fair pageant. So the Fairs of the Fair pageant will be on Saturday, July the 22nd. And then on Saturday, July the 29th, uh, we have, and this is all part of the American Flyer at the Blitzel County Fair. Uh, the Parker Holland Horse Show will be on the 29th at 5 p.m. The 31st, they'll be accepting inside exhibits from 3 to 7 p.m. that day. Tuesday, August 1st is Livestock Shows. And Wednesday, August 2nd is Senior Citizens Day. Uh, also, uh, Gospel Night that night with Craig Tackett at 5.30 p.m. Thursday the 3rd will be a singing at 6 p.m. And Donkey Baseball donkey baseball that's weird I've, I've seen donkey basketball but i've never seen donkey, donkey baseball. baseball okay <laughs> I well that would be interesting to see i need to remember that <laughs> it's august the third at 6 p.m you can see some donkey baseball i've never seen that interesting and on the fourth uh they'll be singing at 6 p.m and then the rodeo will be at 7 30 p.m <clears throat> and the fifth uh, same thing, singing at 6, rodeo at 7.30, and then Sunday uh, the 6th is when you pick up your exhibit. So that was that was basically a good update from the Bledsoe County Fire. And happy birthday this week to Melba Hargis and Jeff Henry. Uh, I ran into Melba while ago and oh. she told me about her birthday. Yeah, and I'll say happy birthday to my mom today. Vicki Smith, happy birthday, <laughs> mama. And, uh, well, I think that's Wow, that's usually a lot more. I hope I haven't missed anybody. <laughs> I'm used to having to say more names than this, so hopefully I didn't. But anyway, happy birthday, Mama. Happy birthday, Melba. Uh, hers was the 14th. And then Jeff Henry's is actually tomorrow, so happy early birthday to Jeff Henry, who's been on our show a couple of times. The yeah. Red Bird Manor. Uh, he's having some problems right now, but oh, really? I see him at church pretty regularly. Oh, okay. Was he doing okay? Well, he's able to go to church. Well, that's good. I didn't, I didn't know. Aaron always is with him, his wife. Yeah. They have a new business here in town. You know, they, yeah. the Red Bird. Uh, Mercantile. Mercantile, I like that name. So, uh, happy birthday, Jeff. Well, Papa, you got a couple of announcements and then we'll uh, we'll see what these guys are going to be into. We got coming up soon. breakfast in the morning out All at right. the Mount Crest Fire Hall. Mm -hmm. In the hours, you can start eating at 6 o'clock in the morning and eat till 10, as long as you pay $10 for each meal. Right. <laughs> the, no, it's $8. Uh, oh, okay. The menu is bacon it's and sausage. for a good cause, though. Volunteer Fire Department. It is for the Fire Department out there. <laughs> they will have eggs and hash browns. 
Somebody gave me three dozen country eggs last week. Wow. Well, you know, no, this give, week, this week. You're not even going to give them no credit? Say, say who? <laughs> well, no, I don't know who gave them to me. Oh, okay, okay. Somebody that works for Paul well, out in jail. Oh, okay. Well, that makes a difference if you don't know. Then there will be uh, biscuits and gravy and uh, jelly. This jelly is good jelly. Yes, homemade. Homemade jelly. Then you'll have butter to go on that butter biscuit with that jelly. <laughs> and you'll have coffee and milk and orange juice to drink. Yes. Don't forget this they is orange juice. <laughs> tomorrow morning out at the intersection of Highway 30 and Route 101. Yeah, the fire department out. out at Mount Crest. Remember, these are volunteers. That's right. And I've told you before, we have these volunteer fire departments scattered all over Bledsoe County. Yeah. They Our are in place to keep your rate of your insurance down. That is true, and I keep forgetting about that. that. that and then happen. he says it again, it reminds me. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't think a lot of people know about that. Okay, I don't think so. That's I don't why you keep pushing. Um, also, there good. is going to be a fundraiser, a barbecue fundraiser, on Wednesday, the 21st of June. That'll be next yeah. Wednesday. Uh, it's going to be up to Erlanger Bledsoe Hospital. And it's going to be from 11.30 to 1. You can come and have your barbecue. <laughs> You'll have a sandwich, baked beans, mm -hmm. slaw and chips, and a drink and dessert. The cost is $10. This is for the Debbie Harwood Rains Memorial, uh, what they give at graduation. Cool. It's a memorial scholarship <clears throat> yeah. in yeah. honor of Deb, Debbie Rains. Yeah. So uh, if you want to call your order in, they'll have it waiting on you. It's 447-5365, 447-5365. This is a barbecue fundraiser. Cost is $10 next Wednesday at the Bledsoe County Hospital. All right. Well, it's trivia time, Papa. I, just I bet you guys it. can't wait for this. Mm. You remember I this part? It. I missed it from last time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you do remember? He remembers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because if I recall, it was kind of crazy that day, wasn't it? It was. It was. As in all over the place. <laughs> Some really hard questions, too, I remember. All right. <laughs> Let me get this right. Well, now I got the fresh buzz with me. Yeah, so. I know. <laughs> I, got, I got some help. That's not okay. <laughs> when you hear the words, set up the river, what is the reference to? S up the river? Set up, up the, the river? Well, it's nothing good. I know that. No, it's not anything good. Lifelines and what? Ah, I I think I know, but I don't know for sure. Is it's going to get locked up, isn't it? Going to jail? It's not jail, it's prison. Oh, okay. Ah. Well, I told you it wasn't something good. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, the only time a woman ever really succeeds in changing a man. Not but one time in her life does she, now she sets out. When he dies? <laughs> <laughs> Try to help him. <laughs> when he's born, she changes his diaper. Oh. oh. <laughs> Get him on his way in and on his way out. <laughs> the women set out with the idea I can change that man. <laughs> okay, which lives longer, a man or a woman? I'm not it. Well, a man or a woman? I'm, well, you never know. I mean, sometimes well, you don't know, but uh, more women. Live more women live longer. longer. Mm -hmm. uh, you're right. Uh, women outlive men by four years. Right. You Usually. know why women outlive men more by four years? Because we don't put up with them. <laughs> <laughs> we all have to be women. You said, you said it. I didn't say it. We <laughs> just come when to shut up. <laughs> men are dumb. <laughs> whose motto is just it? Just kidding, ladies. Whose motto is it? We've got what it takes to take what you've got. got We've got it takes to take We've what you've got. We've got what it takes to take what you've got. Whose motto is it? I don't know. I mean, uh, like that could be a few people's motto, a few different mottos, really. Who, who's going to get your last dollar? Like the, I guess the IRS. The IRS. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they're going to get what they, what you owe them. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no. 
I think we pay enough if you ask me. <laughs> Where does most of the world's gold come from? What country? Saudi Arabia? Probably, that's a good guess. It might be, is that it? I would think no. oil on that one. Uh, gold. Gold. Is it a European country? No. US. America. It's here. South Africa. South Africa? Well, that wasn't, that wasn't on my that. radar at all. No. Dang. You, you're familiar with the Energizer Bunny? Yeah. yeah, keeps going and going. Why, and going. Was, why was he arrested? Thank you. Christina? <laughs> just went to stop. I don't know. He was avoiding arrest? <laughs> Battery. She <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> he went up the river for some battery charges. <laughs> don't ask me where that came from. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> What do the letters, <laughs> on a ship, what do the letters SS stand for? <sighs> on a ship. I knew it, but it's... I know, it's, it's completely left me now. As soon as you ask me, I'm like, no. <laughs> it's gone. Steam, Steam ship. ship. Steam ship. Good ship. job, good job. That was a tough one. Last one. <laughs> In a cemetery. Yes. Where, where is Babyland? In a cemetery, where is Babyland? What kind of clue is that? I don't know. Well, can, you, can you do a little bit more on that clue? That's a tough one. Infants, too. All children are buried in Babyland. Mm -hmm. That is, that's where it's in a cemetery. Mm -hmm. You have a section for babies. Really? Oh, and infants. oh, it's okay. Baby land. I didn't know that. I never knew that either. Wow. Let me tell you something. Whenever That's... you go to a cemetery and you're looking at rocks, Albert Roberts was born <laughs> July, February the 17th, 1935. My rock is already in place because my wife is there. Right. They have my date, February the 17th, 1935. There is a <laughs> line about an inch and a half long waiting for me to die. Well, what does that, that line represent? Was it oh, the time that you lived? It's your life you lived. Yeah. Every how long it is. Oh, yeah. Because you have that. the beginning day. And yeah. The ending day. Yeah. True. True. It's That's all between. I have in truth. Well, that trivia took a depressing turn. <laughs> <laughs> You'll Sorry have to make that. up for that on jokes Sorry later. About that. <laughs> That was a good energizer <laughs> one though on the That was what? That was good. <laughs> I'm glad you got out of the women thing. I thought it was gonna be all good. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, as you can tell, we have our guest uh, here with us, Cameron and Mikey. Well, tell us, first off, tell the story again, though, how you guys connected. Because you weren't able to be here last time because you uh, had a surgery, I think. I did. I did. So, uh, so now you both are here, so you can tell the story of how, how you connected, and then you're going to sing a couple of ditties for us. I, was, uh, <laughs> I had actually, uh, I had had a heart attack when I was 45. Oh, yeah, that's what, yes. And, yes. Uh, and since then, I've had several back surgeries, but. Yes, yes. During that time, I had decided I was going to quit playing music altogether. Yeah, I, was I can quit. say, yeah. And it was, uh, it was just, it was aggravating. It was rough. It's a young rough, age to rough have point. that. Yeah, it was a rough point. Yeah. And um, we were actually trying to put the party together that year for the kids. Yes, yes. And I've got a, a buddy of mine, a buddy of ours from Chattanooga, gave me his name. He said, "Hey, give this, give this kid a call. Okay. Give this kid a call." And I was like, "Okay." <laughs> so I called him, and one thing led to another. Uh, to make a long story short, I went to meet him. Mm -hmm. It is the first time I heard him. I walked up and I shook his hand. I said, "Not only are you playing on my stage for the show, but uh, I'm your new drummer." <laughs> Did not even yeah. know that he played an instrument because I only thought that he was a guy that owned a venue. <laughs> Had no clue whatsoever. And he's just like, "Sorry about you your luck. I'm gonna be your drummer now." <laughs> what did you say though? Eventually, Obviously, uh, yes. Caught him off guard. I think he went, oh, okay. "Yeah, I'm at this guard." I, I went, "Okay, we're gonna see how this is gonna work." Just some rando telling me that he's gonna be my drummer. But since then, That's we started. Funny. We started writing songs together now, and we've come out with this album, which, by the way, yeah, this, this is, is yours. From my oh, thank this you, is yours. thank you. you. Ooh, I like we've that. come out with the original music. That's pretty cool. Ten songs. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and actually, we. 
recorded Rob it. Drink. We actually recorded it here in Pikeville. There is a recording studio cool. called Schultz Studios. Right Schultz up Recording Studios. Studios. Really? Okay. Shameless plug. Chris Schultz. He's great. Yeah. Okay. It was, and it kind of just because we were going through different people in Chattanooga, mm -hmm. and he just kind of fit us perfectly. He has a great studio. If you guys ever need uh, to. Mm -hmm. record your songs mm -hmm. or if you just want to record a YouTube video he does great videography work I bet, I bet. and he's, he's awesome. absolutely amazing Chris Schultz wow um, Schultz recording studios this. over here just right down the road from uh, wow. Michael and meanwhile we stay busy we, we're playing three or four nights a, a, a week promoting our songs and also, we good. also still that's play good. covers I mean you have to yeah, yeah you do yeah that's you what do. we started out as is doing the covers and then we you used to still our, yeah, we used those that. inspirations and what we played and how long we've been playing <laughs> um, to write these kinds of songs. Yeah. So the album yeah. is called Nothing Like a Fresh Buzz. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a very oh, okay. it's a very diverse album of singer songwriters songs. Yeah. Albums, very Americana. That's good. Um, That's good. But it it has a really good flow, and I, I believe that you'll really like it. And cover art by Chase Wimberly. Yes, he's out of Chattanooga. Okay, he's a good uh, fan. Good job. <laughs> he's, a, he's a good fan of us, and he's been following us uh, for since we first started. That is true. Oh, okay. so oh, that's good. seeing his artwork, I was like, hey, do you want to try his work for our album? And oh, we're, okay, that's weird that they come out about like that. Yeah, that's good he though. Did great, and of course now we're up on all all streaming platforms. We're on okay, Spotify. Good. We're on Amazon Music. We're on YouTube, we're on iTunes, Apple, iTunes, Play, iTunes music, Apple Play, music, um, anything that you listen to music on, even including Facebook and Instagram. Facebook, yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't have to pay for that? Well, some, oh, of, no. them, some of them we'll you do, some, um, like Spotify and Apple Play. Oh, they okay. have a subscription service mm -hmm. where you can get, you can listen to unlimited music for a monthly price. Okay. But you can listen to our songs for free on YouTube. Yeah. Um, Facebook and, and Facebook and Instagram. Like yeah. Of course, now you have the album as well. Exactly. Um, or you could just come to the show and buy one from us. That's it. Well, I was exactly. about to say, how can yeah? Where can they get an album? And uh, we have the physical CD copies. Mm -hmm. uh, you come to any of our shows. We're on all Love social that. media as well: Facebook, Instagram. Just look up Campbell okay. and Buzz, and you you will find where we're going to be playing. Right. Yeah, we're always we're always advertising and making sure of that. But if you want to buy it digitally and actually help us out, mm -hmm. it's on Amazon Music and iTunes. Okay, yeah, where you can buy cool. the full album and all the proceeds go to directly us. Yeah, so, and yeah, you, yeah, you still get credit for album sales that way too. So, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yes. yeah, that's good. That's good. Uh, how long did it take to make this album? About a about a month. Uh, we really? did. That's we recorded. Cool we recorded it all together in four and a half hours. Ten songs. Man, oh, well, wow. you have to realize now we've been playing these songs out for True. six months. Or yeah, you knew, so you knew. So we knew. My heart. Was, yeah. But the writing process, you know, actually sitting down together at, you know, the table and yeah, he sure. writes it down. I use my phone. How long did that take? That's that. Uh, that probably. Took a while. That, yeah, of course. Oh yeah, and it's you know, including you know, playing out. And Mm -hmm. you know just and it's ongoing because we're still writing songs we're, we're right. looking forward to our second album we're oh, yeah. really working on that now so are you yes so you've already started writing for the new album yes, yes we, we got have. about like eight more songs ready uh, we got two of them that we got ready to perform but we got about at six of them that are in the bucket you know wow. ready ready to start working into the crowds and stuff like that yeah, so you're, we'll see. You've already got enough material basically for your sophomore we do. album, we pretty do. much, don't mm -hmm. you? We do. That's good. So I take you'll probably be in studio pretty soon for that. I'm That's, sure. the <laughs> That's the plan. That's the plan. That's the plan. <clears throat> so you guys are in Chattanooga a lot and uh, for gigs, I'm assuming. <laughs> yes. And, and just around here, basically, uh, surrounding counties, I guess. You can we say. Uh, oh, absolutely. Uh, we've actually uh, started playing in Crossville. A that's lot. good. That's good. And they've absolutely loved us, and we've loved them. We're right out there. The um, no, we've played at the Social Brew. Okay. Um, it's yeah. a brewery, um, and um, it's kind of a newer place out there, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's yeah. right on Main. Yeah, Street right there in the Main. That and Bunkers. 
uh, one patio one. bar and grill. Great place to play. Great. And really? It is. We're actually playing there next week and doing an album release party. Really? With okay. uh, Danger Teague that you saw. At the yeah, he's that. gonna be there. Yeah, he's cool. gonna he's gonna be our special guest. Well, that'll be cool. We also got uh, towns like Maryville. Of course, we, yeah. we we're always driving back and forth to Nashville playing. We've got places that we play there at least once a month that we're in, well, okay. in that town. Yeah, and then, of that's, course Chattanooga. Yeah, uh, we played down in Ringo and Georgia and Have just you? a little bit everywhere. Just yeah. a little bit everywhere. Staying busy as much as we can. Well, that, Jasper too. You can't forget about yeah. Jasper. Did you? Yeah. 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 We went down there to the. Well, goat. they have a they have a big event down there every year. They used to. I don't know if they still do. I don't know about the, the actual yeah. government, the community, what they do. But this is just a an, indi- an individual owned establishment mm-hmm. where we play down there. Cool. Yeah. What was it called? What you said? The, the goat. goat. <laughs> no, the goat. <laughs> It's another. That's it's another really neat outdoor stage. Another so memorable fun. name. <laughs> yeah, but we play at some fun places. Yeah. Well, Bob, Bob, you ask a question. Well, I just wait. I'm waiting to hear. Oh, you want to hear them? <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to hear them too, but I gotta ask them some questions. <laughs> well, I think that's enough questions. I, I want to get. The tune. He wants want to hear the tunes. You want to hear them? <laughs> well, uh, well, Lisa, let's I get like the way he thinks. We get one tune, and then if you want to ask, oh, you're questions. fine. Yeah, we can start. What uh, what songs are you going to sing for us, though? Five star or, or I take five? Pride. I take pride. I take pride. Okay. I take pride. Number five well, on the album. <laughs> I take pride. So this one. I'll tell you a little bit about these as we play them. Okay. Um, okay. Actually, get it on the right capo, right fret. So. Um, <laughs> My dad always comes out to my shows. Mm-hmm. He's been my number one supporter throughout. That's that's not huge. only just my whole life, but like throughout this musician process and that's been really to every true. show. Shares all my things and tells all of his friends about me. And uh, I wanted to write a song about how much he means to me and how oh, much wow. I mean to him. Yeah. So it goes. It's like a back and forth between mm-hmm. the both of us of our love for each other as father and son. Can you get through without tearing up? Oh yeah, <laughs> it's appropriate. But that is a uh, Sunday's father. Absolutely, yeah, I didn't even that, think about that. Think about that I, and they didn't. Well, that makes it even better. That, yeah, that, yeah. This is um, I take pride and okay. hope y'all enjoy. This is a an original. Well, I like the meaning behind it.
Just this is, you know, my but it love. It would be my hard dad. to get through without tearing up. You <laughs> oh know? yeah. Maybe you're, I guess you're used to it now, performing it. But uh, it's it's amazing seeing my dad uh, after many times playing it in front of him. He actually mouths the words wow. back to me. Oh, okay. Or sings along with me. Yeah. I can't hear him on stage, but yeah. Do you, ever you know. get requests for encore? Oh, oh, absolutely. I uh, think we've, that would get some requests. I think it will. <laughs> we, absolutely. Um, there's been a lot of people that have that love the fast and going songs and fun of course, party songs, yeah. but they they absolutely love it's our good that you know, versatility, though. slower songs that are yeah. beautiful and tell a story, and that's what we do. We just tell stories that we live yes. through. And that's what yes. most songs do. They're telling the story. Yeah, Absolutely. Well, our are. whole point when we write these songs, or our whole point when we write these songs, is to either make you smile, laugh, cry, angry, of some sort of emotion. Emotion. Dance. You can't, we can't make you feel some sort of emotion. We haven't done our job. Wow, that's a very good way to look to define that. You want I think that's attention. very true. That's yes. Right. Yes. That's right. And so, uh, powerful songs, good songs, they do bring out the emotion, you know? Absolutely, and the vulnerability, you know? Yes, yes. We had that with that song, and of course with a, a song for Mom, the last I saw song. that, I saw that, yeah. Um, last I'm song sure that's album. a tearjerker, too. <laughs> um, it, is. it is. It's It's quite a story, too. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, but just to, just to be vulnerable and just be yourself throughout these song writing yeah. times with him. Yeah. And we're and it's so weird. Like we're you know, we're not the same age. We we yeah. live two different lives, but we mm -hmm. feel the most connected playing well, music you, together. Yeah, you, you never know. know uh, sometimes you just have chemistry with people and you, you know We've it's really worked. become best of friends brothers right. through this process. It's been yeah. really amazing. He's had yeah. my back and I've had his, man. Yeah. Throughout it all. And we're pretty much twenty five years apart, so Exactly. Hey, it's crazy. Exactly. You don't know uh yeah, no, it doesn't matter. Like when you connect with people, you connect with them. Yeah. That's, Are you right. that's cool. That's cool. I don't know. I think I'll like let y'all do. We'll, well do they're not going to one. sing us another song other than what's on their album. I don't think. Well, yeah. if you want to hear another song that we've written too, that's no, not no, on the album. The, but the, uh, we want to push your album. Yeah. <laughs> we got an upbeat one on here. I'm sure. We do. We do. Um, we got some fun ones. Uh, <laughs> Ride this train. Yeah. Uh, Come on, honey. Flat tire. Flat tire is a fun oh. one. F fun little short one if you want to hear it. Sure. Okay. Uh, that sounds good. So. To me. <clears throat> You want to tell the story? It did catch my sure. attention. <laughs> that one did. The story about this one was we were on our way to uh, to Nashville to play a show. And um, I call him because as I drive, when I drive down the road, I get these ideas right. for, for these songs. So I call him and I said, hey, man, there's this truck in front of me. He's got this lawnmower trailer on the back of his trailer. And that, and that thing is bouncing all over the road. And I just thought, that thing is fixing up. He's going to lose that tire here in a few minutes. <laughs> and I got to thinking about it, and I thought, Loving you is like having a flat tire with no spare in the back. <laughs> wow. What a well, lot. So I thought, well, I could turn this into a love song of sorts. <laughs> but the whole premise of the song is that you know, how many times have you had a flat tire being broke down on the side of the road and you thought, man, am I ever going to make it to the next yeah, exit? Well, yeah. the relationship's the same way. <laughs> you know, you know, even though that oh, that old car's a beater and you, you absolutely yeah. hate that car, but you love it because it gets you back and forth to work in the, in the <laughs> yeah. grocery store, right? Yeah. 
Oh, Lobble. <laughs> that's kind of where this comes it's from. It's a love-hate marriage. It's a love-hate marriage relationship. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, that first line sounds like a good old country song. That first one you did. <laughs> yeah, this one's a little different than the first one. It's a little different. No, this is that first line you oh, had yeah. there like that. That's that awesome line is first what, that's, line. that's how we come up with it. Was we wrote this song <laughs> around that line. That's funny. <laughs> well, let's hear it. Let's rock and roll with it. You ready? I'm ready. so much well i can tell you you have a awesome stage presence which <laughs> and you really do you're a natural at that you really are thank so you so you did you just you scouted well on that mic <laughs> yeah. you should see us together it's, it really sure. is amazing we're, we're up there on that stage with the lights and the, and the sound system and everything's i bet up. the show is something to be to see i, I think it's a there's fun just two show it's yeah. so much fun I just can see he gets me going, I get him going. We yeah. just like to have so much fun. My whole fun. goal in life during one of those, yeah. just one time, is to make him laugh right in the middle of a song and forget the words. <laughs> <laughs> if I do that, I'm like, I've done my job for the night, I can pack it up. And I do it pretty much every time. <laughs> every time. And there's no, you know, I, I try to pick up on his cues and stuff. Every show's different. Yeah. Every show is different. I don't know what song he's going to do with next song. <laughs> so you're good at it. Yeah, he is. He he caught on that I was catching on, and then and then he was like, "Oh, I got I got to one up him." That's right. That's right. Got to keep my did, job rolling. We yeah. been very fortunate that you chose to come here to yeah unload sure. your new album on us. Absolutely. And on the public. Yeah. And we we have no idea how many people are watching you. But I'm sure you blessed Absolutely. a lot of people today. Oh, yeah. well, thank, thank you, you, so, thank much. you so much. The, the last time that we were, I was actually on your show, the video oh, has blown up pretty yes. good. It's well over 120,000 views. 120,000 yeah. views and 4, yeah. 000, or 4.5 thousand likes. That's, yes, that's, that's the numbers. biggest video that I've ever done. Cool. And, cool. Um, and instead of being on TikTok, but that's my biggest YouTube video. Yeah. Y all. <laughs> so Whoa, as soon as I saw it. that, I was like, I gotta get him on there. We, we want <laughs> we want y'all to enjoy the album and yeah. please stream it if you do that. Um, we do, yeah, yeah. Um, 
it's on all streaming platforms spotify apple play music youtube amazon music and, itunes and you have a facebook page correct absolutely yes okay what is it uh just Cam and the Fresh Buzz. Cam and okay. the Fresh Buzz. Check it out. It'll let you know because we Buzz. put up flyers and calendars yes. and everybody knows where we're going to be at. <laughs> and what's the name of the album again? Tell everybody. Nothing like a Fresh Buzz. Oh, yeah. I like Nothing that. that is like a, a Fresh nothing Buzz. Nothing like a Fresh Buzz. <laughs> I like that. Well, so you, you, can, got, you got your guns to back you up. Nothing like the Fresh Buzz. That's, <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Absolutely. <laughs> and there he is. <laughs> he is. Well, come see Cam and the Fresh Buzz, folks. Well, you can see them, like I said, check out their Facebook page and get, you know, you can get their schedule to all their events and all your shows. And if you want to come out and support a local event, like we said on Labor Day, come out to the Lucky Star. You don't want to miss it. You really don't. Like we are saying, are a very good event anyway. And it's the 10th annual, so come out and check it out. That's the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th of September. Come see Cam and the Fresh Buzz in concert. And it's all just weekend. six miles north of Pikeville. It right. is. It Absolutely, is. it is. And we're not the only musicians. There's a lot yeah, of good wonderful line. artists that are good, there. Good there's going to be some artists, like actual Actually, painters. Okay. We're going to do some live, uh, live art that we're going to auction off and some different things. It's, it's really oh, good. that's cool. Yeah. Just food vendors and all this, all the big. All yeah, the you do have good food there. there. Oh, yeah, man. you do have good food there. <laughs> fishing, fishing, camping. It's it's going to be a wonderful. Well, yeah, you have the you have the lake there. Beautiful. Oh yeah, it beautiful. is. Echo Lake is absolutely gorgeous. I like it. Uh, um, you can find all that property. information too on mm -hmm. uh, the Cam and the Fresh Buzz page. Okay, good. We shared it here recently as well. So okay, you, good. Yeah. All the contact information is there as well. So if you have That's any right. questions, contact Mikey or Kelly. And we'll continue. Uh, promoting that event yes, and, please do. and yes. we'll come see you at the Lucky Star right Sweet before yeah. it. Uh, Sweet yeah. <laughs> I do another little, little Yeah, we'll have to do this again. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to do that for sure. We might have another album by the time that we're coming <laughs> yeah, come back. I know. <laughs> That'd be awesome. At least, at least a couple of singles. <laughs> I bet. Uh, yeah, I'm going to challenge you to have one by then. <laughs> uh, that's not a problem. You're, you're on. <laughs> well, thanks like, for... Look, thanks a lot for joining us today, though. We had a great time just listening to y'all. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I can see why your uh, shows would be fun. I know they would be. So I can't wait to see it. You were at ease. You were yeah. at ease. Y'all are just uh, chilled, relaxed, and having a good time. That's that, what we love that, to do. That's why it's successful. That's what people want to see. So. And we have a we have a true love, don't we? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> well, this would be a good time if you take a break while they take. Why, well, sure break. would. Yeah, Papa's right on cue, folks. <laughs> Coming up after the commercial break, we'll have some Albertology, sports of all sorts, and some jokes to make to make up for the depressing trivia at the end. We'll have some <laughs> jokes. <laughs> so we'll be right back, folks. Stick around. Alright, you're good. Awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna go outside for a <laughs> minute and I'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome to the Dunlap Mercantile, located in the heart of the beautiful Sequatchie Valley at 15664 Rankin Avenue in Dunlap, Tennessee. Stop in today for some Mayfield ice cream or a cup of community coffee, and if you're interested in renting this venue for your event, call 423-949-2552. Stay tuned to DunlapMercantile.com for concerts and events coming to the Dunlap Mercantile in 2021. God bless. Welcome back, folks, to the Albert and Billy Show. It's time for some sports of all sorts, Papa. But before that, we'll thank our sponsors. Yes. A big thank you to the following businesses for sponsoring our show. Here we go. Citizens Tri County Bank. Big thank you. A big thank you to all these people. Here we go. Citizens Tri County Bank, Bilbury Insurance, Scotty's. And they're open on Saturdays again, by the way. Yeah. 
uh, the offices of Janine Boynton, Lisa Wheeler, and Michael Walker. Big thank you to you, to you three. Uh, also, Farm Bureau Insurance, Matt Massengale and his friendly staff, and they're located right by Putnam Reed Funeral Home, and they're both in South Pikeville. About as South Pikeville as you can get. About as southern, <laughs> southern as you can get. <laughs> Nick Row Antiques, where we are right now. Yeah. Uh, if you haven't checked this place out, you're missing out. You need to come check it out. They have a little bit of everything here at Nick Roll Antiques. Uh, the Morgan Brothers, and of course, that's the Morgan Brothers Barbecue Restaurant, the original. Then you have the brewery, uh, the venue. The Bank Walker Brewery is open on Thursday, Friday, and Saturdays now. So remember that. Uh, they're open Thursday, Friday, and Saturdays. That's the Bank Walker Brewery. If you haven't been there, another place you should just go in to see. Uh, just a really good layout and atmosphere. I'm really impressed with that. Also, they have the Popple Family Restaurant. If you want a good breakfast, go up to the Popple Family Restaurant uh, and get you. I recommend get you a waffle. That's the best waffle you can get. Also, thank you to State Farm Insurance, Nick Smith and his friendly staff, Milldale Outdoor Adventures. It's Lola's Collier and Company Realty. Bill Wolf, Lee Station Baptist Church, Southern Pearl Florist Home Decor and Gifts at their new location, the Daily Stop, which is their right uh, on the bypass. I can't miss them, and I think they got some of the best pizza you can get. <coughs> I really do. So uh, thanks to all of our sponsors, we do appreciate it. And now we're going to talk some sports, Papa. The all sorts. Of all sorts. <laughs> In tennis. Right. Djokovic. Djokovic, won. I'm glad he won. He won the French Open. And it's very, I, I used to not be a fan of his, but what all they put him through is I've, I've gained respect for that man. I have. Well, he and Nadal were tied with the most yes. tournament wins. The most majors 23. ever. Yeah. 23. He broke that tie. He did. And Nadal so, didn't even get to play in the French Open, which is huge. But he stands alone. He stands alone, he stands and alone. I think he might. I think he might stand alone the rest of the way if Nadal he's don't worry come back. He's not through. No, he's not. <clears throat> also, in, <laughs> not at in, all. in basketball, pro basketball, the NBA Finals, we had two teams that made it to the Finals, and that was the Denver Nuggets and Miami Heat. Boo, and, Denver, yay. <laughs> and uh, Denver took care of Miami, and Man, they only let ever. Miami win one game. I was impressed with that and kind of surprised. No, I was not. Really? Well, I guess I was surprised in that they won it in five So games. easily, yeah, so easily. <clears throat> but now they had that big serve. He's that, good. He He's a game changer. He he can hit a three-pointer as well as he can hit a crib shot. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to guard that. It he is. was awarded the, M MVP. the M M MVP of the finals. He deserved it. And he deserved it. Probably he deserved the MVP of the whole playoffs. He he really, he's the reason they won it. I mean, let's just. I'll put it that way. Yeah, that's the truth. You put it that way, but I'll, 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 I'll amen that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he's that big of a difference maker. I watched his family surround him after the game was over. Mm -hmm. Some of the male members of his family, they had his name on their shirts. Wow. Some of those men hugged him and kissed him on the cheek. Yeah. He kissed them back. Wow. So I'm sure that is a custom in Serbia. Yeah, yeah, it is. In some countries in Europe it is, so I'm sure it is. So neither one of them thought anything about it. Right. But it struck me as odd that men would kiss in public. On the cheek, yeah. I, it, they do that at the, well, the ladies do that at the French Open sometimes. It's a, it's a, Tradition it's there too, yeah, yeah. Well, the Bible says greet each other with a holy kiss, but every time I try to, kiss, <laughs> every time I try to kiss somebody, they run. <laughs> in college baseball, in college baseball, yeah. Tennessee won their super regional, uh, mm -hmm. super regional by taking care of Southern Miss. Yeah. Uh, two games to one. Now they're uh, in the world play series. LSU in the world championship in, in the this world, world series? series. And that starts when tomorrow. 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 Okay. We yeah, you thought that Tennessee got beat. I thought they. And, and so I they thought were, that, and they they were playing. I was like, wait a minute, they're playing. 
<laughs> you know what? They've gone to the World Series two of the last three times. Three, two I out of the last three that. years. I didn't know they. I thought this would be their first trip. Two out of the last three years. Oh, I'm shocked at that because I was a little disappointed in their postseason performance a couple of times. But they might do it this year. I hope so. Also, That'd be awesome. the last thing that I've got to talk about. Well, we need to also remember too the Denver Nuggets. That was their first championship, in, folks. In 47 years. Yeah, I mean they had never done that, so that's huge. That's huge. Be yeah, go ahead. One more thing: the Big Ten is going to welcome next year USL, UCLA, and Southern Cal. That is about the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. They're West Coast teams. They are nowhere they're near to, the Big Ten. They're going. That makes the Big Ten 16 teams strong. Well, they need to change their name. I don't know why these conferences are doing all this stupid stuff, but it is it is stupid. I really do, stupid. I it's do, money and greed, of course, money. like it's anything money. else. But it doesn't make a lick of sense. You see, it's just, they're ruining the sport. They're, they just, they won't leave well enough alone. They just want to, they ruin everything. And it gets old. You get tired of seeing that. You know UCLA and USC has no business being in a Midwest conference. It's stupid. But the realignment with the SEC with the addition That's stupid too. of Texas and Oklahoma, it's, it's causing a realignment within yeah. the conference. They're but, just re they're just getting it's just pathetic though. Like it's not even believable. Like look how far they're going to have to travel to play conference games. That's the stupidity of it, Papa. It's unreal. Well, let's go to Albertology. I'm All fired up now. For <laughs> In the Albertology. Billy's got, fired up. <laughs> I've got three things to tell you about the world's largest. I've got three articles to tell you about the world's largest. Okay. What's the world's largest In, first one here? In Vegreville, Alberta, they have the world's largest Easter egg sculpture. Really? It is... Wow. A, an egg, an Easter egg from the Ukraine, mm -hmm. and that Easter egg is 25.7 feet tall. An I can't egg. even imagine that. Man alive. That's most, huge. Ho most homes are <laughs> eight foot ceiling. It's going to be Can you imagine miles. three times that? Plus? God, no, I can't. No, I really can't. And there is a man that lives in Magnolia, Arkansas. He constructs charcoal really? grills. Mm -hmm. He has made the world's largest charcoal grill that works. It's 70 feet tall. My gosh. And it works. I don't say how it works. <laughs> Man, you can grill up some jot food on that. Okay. There That'd are, be one big hamburger. <laughs> there are several towns that claim to have the world's largest peanut. Oh, really? I didn't know that. But. The world's largest peanut is in Ashburn, Georgia. Oh, okay. It is 10 foot tall, a peanut, 10 foot tall, on uh, top of a 15 foot brick wall. I would, I would so that's 25 feet to see a peanut. Now there I are- I can not imagine uh, some of these. I can't imagine it in my mind. There is a, a town in Texas called Florenceville. Okay. There is a town in Oklahoma called Durant. There is a town in Alabama called Dothan. All of them claim to have the largest peanut, but yet this man came up with a larger peanut. <laughs> I bet all those towns are mad now. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Okay. No, that's a one big peanut right there, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's an enormous peanut. <laughs> now, on a more serious note. Okay. The Bible has a disease that it talks about quite often. It's called leprosy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The disease of leprosy is the oldest documented infection in the world. That makes sense. It, it goes yeah. all the way back to Egypt, and it was recorded in 1350 B.C. Goodness. Leprosy. I don't know. I mean, I, it makes sense that it's the oldest, Papa, but... I didn't realize it, you know, that old. That, that's, that's crazy. Uh, <laughs> that uh, really is. See. 285. All right. Boy, what you got for us now? Listen to this. In 1986, 
mm -hmm. a guard in an armored car, yeah. was killed when fifty thousand dollars worth of quarters fell on him. Quarters <laughs> 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 killed a man. <laughs> He was working on an armored car. <laughs> is, oh, is that a real story? He that's was a... working on an armored car. <laughs> so that's uh, not a joke. No. I feel bad for life in the <laughs> day. And now listen to this. Oh, listen, wow. listen closely to this. O.J. Simpson was originally cast for the role of the Terminator. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but now listen to this. But was ultimately rejected because the studio executive said O.J. Simpson is too nice a guy. <laughs> we couldn't visualize him killing anyone. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, did they miss that one? <laughs> I can't believe that. <laughs> that one did shock me. <laughs> did you know? Did you know? Uh, Certainly didn't. <laughs> starfish, yeah. cuttlefish, and jellyfish are not actually fish. They okay. live in common with the fish in that they're in the sea. Yeah. But they're not really fish. Well, you know what? I can see I, that does kind of make sense. I, they don't look anything like fish, really. No, but you call them fish. Yeah. Yeah, for whatever reason. The mountain chicken. It's not really a chicken, it's a frog. <laughs> it's a mountain chicken, but it's really a frog. <laughs> here's the last uh, here's the last, last of our okay. This This is a celebrity cipher that I worked out. Which and is it, impressive. They're not easy to do. <laughs> no, they're not easy. Every, every letter stands for a letter in the alphabet, and you've got to figure out the maze. That's it, yeah. That's where it gets Got tough. no checks books. Got no check books. Still, I'd like to express my thanks. I got the sun in the morning and the moon at night. Irving Berlin. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Irving Berlin. All right, we're ready for I like jokes. That. Ready for jokes. Well, we're always ready for some jokes, Pop Pop. Well, last week's for good. <laughs> well, this this is not not really funny, but it's in the joke book. It is? Okay. The, Nas <clears throat> the National Institute of Health spent $325,000 on a University of California, Berkeley project okay. that proved what any husband would have been glad to tell the government free. The happiest marriages are the ones in which the wives claim <laughs> the, the wives calm down quickly during fights. The wives are the first one to calm down. <laughs> Those are I, the could have, I could have told them that. Karen and I were yeah. married. Karen and I were married sixty years, seven months, eight days, and four hours. He each knows time, the exact each, time. Each time we had an argument, guess who wanted to uh, call the <laughs> argument over? Nanny. Carolyn. Yeah, I'd say so. You're stubborn as a mule. <laughs> Everybody tells me I'm stubborn. <laughs> I don't think I'm stuck. <laughs> they All, <sure> right. Did. <laughs> All right, here's the, here's the jokes. <laughs> yeah, let's hear some jokes. <laughs> a military lab has developed a pizza that boasts a chef life of three years without being frozen. <laughs> and they they asked the readers to name this pizza. So here's what they came up with. Simper pie instead of simplify. No. The lasting supper instead of the last. <laughs> oh no. Indestructible instead of indestructible. <laughs> Pizza day resistance. <laughs> Shoot. Defrig knock. <laughs> Old Lang slice. <laughs> Eternal peace. <laughs> Grandpapa John's Pizza. I can't believe they come up with that many. Goodness. Okay. They're the, pretty good at that. The flight attendant on our trip was handing out plastic pilot wings to some kids. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> As I stepped forward, she jokingly offered me one, but I passed, mm -hmm. pointed my airborne wings on my army uniform. 
I explained. The last time someone gave me wings, I had to jump out of the airplane. <laughs> <laughs> I had a flashback. <laughs> Airports see more sincere kisses than wedding halls. The you walls of hospitals it, have heard more prayers than the walls of churches. <laughs> I'm sure. That's the truth. Yeah. That's not really a joke, but it, it's so true, both of those things. My great aunt looked confused when I told her that my daughter was 18 months old. Oh, she said, I thought she was a year and a half. But Aunt Marie, 18 months and a year and a half are the same. She shrugged and said, what do I know about children? <laughs> Must not know a lot about math either. <laughs> no. My doctor says, if I don't drink, don't smoke, if I eat properly and take care of myself, I really should live until midnight. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> That's depressing. Another joke I read, a man said the doctor told him if he would quit smoking, quit drinking, and quit running around with women and everything, he would live a longer life. He said, why well, 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 I want to live a longer life? <laughs> That's a good one, too. Listen to this. When you fall in love, uh, it doesn't matter how old you are, you always true. feel like a teenager. Yeah, I think I'd, I'd say that that's true. Yeah. Well, uh, love is a many splendored thing. Mm -hmm. I think that would make the name of a song. <laughs> <clears throat> My 11 year old so. takes his homework seriously. Does it now? One question required him to write a sentence using the word version. His okay. sentence, have you heard of the version, Mary? <laughs> version. That's pretty good. <laughs> that is bad, young good. After my 91-year-old mother finished having her hair cut and shaped, the stylist said, there, now you look 10 years younger. My mother, unimpressed, she said, who wants to look 81 years old? That's pretty I can't good. Remember, I can't remember when I was 81. <laughs> oh, all your troubles will disappear with Chanel number no. 5 perfume on your neck. Well, they won't, but your troubles will smell delicious. <laughs> That's the truth of it right there. <laughs> this was Alan Alda. He was the one oh, that yeah. said MASH. Oh, that's he right. He says, yeah. I don't understand why people say, I don't want to live forever. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty simple to the point. <laughs> <laughs> why not? <laughs> As the customer approaches the general store, he notices this large sign on the door, beware of dog. <laughs> he carefully entered the store. Right. But once inside, all he sees is a fat old hound asleep on the floor. Is that the dog folks are supposed to be aware of? He asked the store owner. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's him. He doesn't look dangerous <laughs> to me. Why would you post that sign? Right, right. Because, says the owner, before I posted that sign, people kept tripping over him. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> what do you call a lazy baby kangaroo? A lazy baby kangaroo. Are they called joys? Yeah, they're called joys. Okay, well, what do you call a lazy baby? A pouch baby? potato <laughs> instead of a couch potato. Dang, I just never thought of that one. <laughs> an elderly farmer had an old bull mm -hmm. that lost its desire and no longer went near the cows. So the farmer <laughs> called the vet and the vet prescribed a pill that would help the bull do his job. Was it a blue pill? <laughs> a few weeks later, the farmer ran into a friend and the friend said, how's that bull? Great, 
said the farmer. Oh, really? The bull is back to his former uh, <laughs> frisky self. <laughs> That's fantastic. What miracle drug did the vet prescribe? For real? I don't know, said the farmer, but it tastes like licorice. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> I mean, you know what to say to that one. <laughs> two uh, regulars, two regulars sitting at a bar. <laughs> when one of them casually points to a couple of drunks across from them, right. and he said, that's us in 10 years. <laughs> the friend takes a sip from his beer, sets it down on the bar, and he says, to his friend, that's a mirror. <laughs> I bet he felt stupid. <laughs> I dreamed I was rocking a baby to sleep. Okay. In the morning, my husband, who's bald, <laughs> told me I patted his head for 30 minutes and kept saying, go to sleep, baby. <laughs> These are some things that people have crazy dreams they talk about the next Oh, time. yeah. I never remember mine. My husband sat up in bed and announced, Eileen, I believe I can kill about 20 chickens. He went back to sleep and left me as <laughs> well, by the way. Turning to me with some urgency, yeah. my sleeping husband stated, I have to do the cat's taxes. <laughs> Now listen, <laughs> this, is, this is from a, TV, a radio personality, and he's been blind since birth for 55 years. Oh, wow. But this is what he says, don't pity me, okay. this is what I have to live with. There are plenty of good things about being blind. I go on airplanes first. Yeah, yeah. I never have to worry about drinking and driving. <laughs> I don't have to do my own lawn. No, no. Every single woman I've ever met is a 10. Because <laughs> they wouldn't know anyway. <laughs> These are pretty good, aren't they? They are. The person who came to my office looking for work was a former Los Angeles Dodger minor league baseball player. Okay. On his resume was this reason for leaving his previous job. Couldn't hit a curveball. <laughs> That'd be it. <laughs> this is uh, a retired English teacher and he's got some quotes from his students' work. Okay. This is, if I didn't have to read and write, I would really enjoy English class. <laughs> You know, I guess English, so. English was my favorite subject in school. Was it? Well, I, I did well in it, yeah. Yeah. Former ambassador Richard Holbrook was a brilliant but polarizing figure. Polarizing he wrote in the New York Times Review, when someone once commented that Holbrook was his own worst enemy, a national security advisor he had worked with snapped. <laughs> not as long as I'm around. <laughs> One of my math students got his hand caught in a go-kart chain and lost a third of his finger. Dang. He missed a few days of class and when he returned I asked if his injury hindered him in any way. No, now I can work fractions. <laughs> my, dad, my dad lost uh, one of uh, half of one of his fingers, he cut it off in working in woodwork really? and in his, and his shop. I, well, I never knew that, and I was around him. I just never. Must well, have not been paying attention close enough. It was his <laughs> index finger. Wow, I didn't know that. Well, have you got a couple more? Uh, yeah, I've got a couple more. Forgive your enemies. Nothing and no annoys them as much. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? 
That is so true. <coughs> All right. That is so true. Help wanting. Help wanted. A woman looking for a data processing job at our company was nothing if not eager to please. When I asked, can you type? She said, no, but my sister can. <laughs> <laughs> this, this will be the last one. Yeah, sister needs to be there then. Now listen, okay. this, this, you gotta listen close to this. <laughs> okay. okay. While prosecuting a robbery case, okay. I conducted an interview with an arresting officer. He had arrested someone. Okay. And I was conducting an interview with him. My first question, did you see the defendant at the scene? Yes, from a block away, I saw him. Block away. Was the area well lit? No, it was pretty dark. <laughs> then how could you identify the defendant? I asked. Yeah, for real. Looking at me as if I were nuts, he said, I'd recognize my cousin anywhere. No. <laughs> <laughs> I recognize my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I wasn't expecting that at all. That's that, that's where I'll that, end on. That was that was a good one. That was a good punchline there. <laughs> those were those were some. Those good were jokes. good, man. They they did they did compete with last week's. I didn't think they could, but they did. <laughs> well, those were good, Papa. Uh, let's see. Again days and all that stuff here so we're good to go on that those were some good jokes so you're still on a roll papa i have to say i think those were good <laughs> i think those were good and uh once again i want to thank our guests uh cameron fresh hour and mikey bledsoe cameron fresh buzz for being here uh don't forget to check my own facebook page and come out to the lucky star uh labor day weekend and you can see them in concert so once again, check that out on their Facebook page. We got to hear two of the songs. Yeah, from I like their them. New album. Their new album is good. I, if that's any indicator, it's going to be good. Yeah. So uh, thank you once again for them joining us, and thank you guys for joining us today. And we'll see you guys next time right here on the Albert and Billy Show. So see you folks. later, folks. Hey, folks. Albert and Billy here. You're watching us on Channel 18, BTC Fiber. Check us out on BTC Fiber YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe and like. And check out our Facebook page. Be sure to like and share. Thanks, everybody, for watching.